Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given quadratic equation by completing the square. So let's go ahead and get started. The very first thing we want to make sure that we have only x variables on the left hand side. That means this constant 5 must go on the right hand side. So we can write this one as 6x squared plus 3x equals to negative 5 on the right hand side. And now let's focus on the leading coefficient of x squared. This must be 1. So we want to make it 1 by just dividing by 6. So we are going to divide across the board by 6. That means each and every term divided by 6. So we can write this thing as 1x squared plus 3 over 6 could be reduced to 1 over 2x equal to negative 5 over 6. Now let's go ahead and focus on the coefficient of x, the middle number which is 1 over 2. I am going to write down 1 over 2 right up here. We are going to divide this number by 2. Always we are going to divide by 2. I can write 2 as 2 over 1. So this number 1 over 2 could be divided. So if I flip it over, that's going to become multiplied by 1 over 2. So 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 is going to give us 1 over 4. And the last step is we must square it. So whatever this 1 over 4 square we got, we are going to add on both sides of this equation. So let's go ahead and write down x square plus 1 over 2x plus, I'm just going to put a space and then negative 5 over 6 plus here as well. So let's go ahead and write down 1 over 4 square on the left hand side and 1 over 4 square on the right hand side as well. And let's focus on the left hand side, this part only. And this represents a perfect square. So we are going to use this fact, this formula, a plus b squared equals to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So I can write this left hand side as x plus 1 over 4 square equals to the right hand side I can write negative 5 over 6 and 1 over 4 squared could be written as positive 1 over 16. And now let's focus on the right hand side on these fractions. We want to add these fractions. I just copied down these fractions right up here. Let me show you how to add these fractions in a simple and easy way. Let's crisscross. All right. What that means is I am going to multiply negative 5 times 16 is going to give us negative 80. And then whatever this sign plus sign is, just write it down. And we are going to multiply 1 times 6 is going to be 6 over here. And at the denominator, let's multiply this 6 times 16. That is going to give us 90. 6. All right. And now the top part is going to become negative 74 over 96. And as we can see that these both numbers are easily divisible by 2. So I can just divide both numbers by 2. That is could be written as negative 37 over 48. So that means these fractions can be simplified to negative 37 over 48. So let's focus on the left hand side. I can write x plus 1 over 4 square equal to these fractions have been simplified to negative 37 over 48 as you can 
see that one our next step is to remove this square we want to undo this square so we are going to take the square root on both sides so this square and square root they undo each other we got x plus 1 over 4 equals to positive or negative and I'm going to split them up negative 37 as the the numerator radical and then the square root of 48 at the denominator and now in the next step of x plus 1 over 4 equals to positive or negative let's focus on this negative sign inside this radical this is negative 37 so this could be converted into the imaginary number i i can write as i times square root of 37 divided by square root of 48 and once again the imaginary number i is always equal to square root of negative 1 and this i could also be called iota just keep in your mind and since we are running out of space on the left hand side so i copied down this problem over here on the right hand side and now we are going to focus on the denominator as you can see we got square root of 48 i'm going to write down square root of 48 and we know that uh, 48 could be written as 16 times 3 i can just simply split them up square root of 16 times square root of 3 and we know that the square root of 16 is 4 times square root of 3 so that means this problem could be written as x plus 1 over 4 equals to positive or negative i times square root of 37 divided by 4 times square root of 3 and as we can see we have a denominator in the denominator we got a radical in the denominator and we know that this radical must not be in the denominator so that means we are going to rationalize this number so let me go ahead and copy down this whole thing right up here i am going to write down square root of 37 divided by 4 times square root of 3. let's focus on this part over here the radical of 3 we want to rationalize this thing that means i'm going to multiply and divide by square root of 3 on the top and bottom so this is simply on the top is going to become square root of 37 times 3 under the same shelter divided by 4 times when we multiply these two radicals so the radical disappears so we just simply got 3 and so on the top on this one is going to be if we multiply 37 times 3 that is going to give us 111 square root of 111 divided by 12. so we can write this number x plus 1 over 4 equals to positive or negative i times this we have simplified this whole thing i can write square root of 111 divided by 12. and now we want to isolate x so i am going to move this positive 1 over 4 on the right hand side so we can write as x equal to this positive 1 over 4 becomes negative 1 over 4 plus or minus i times square root of 111 over 12 and now as you can see we got two signs positive and negative sign 
we are going to split these into two solutions. So first is going to be x equal to negative 1 over 4 plus i times square root of 111 divided by 12 and the other solution is going to be x equal to negative 1 over 4 minus i times square root of 111 divided by 12. Once again one with a plus sign and the other one with the negative sign. And thus here is our solution set as you can see over here. And since we are dealing with the imaginary numbers, this solution is not going to be real. So once again, this is not a real solution. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.